Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Code Chef. If you are interested in learning data structures and algorithms and want to improve your competitive programming, then you have come to the right place because here we weekly post uh, videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct free live uh, coding sessions. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get started. Today we'll be solving the problem even doubles, which is a simple problem and it belongs to the July starters. Now let us go to the problem statement. In this problem statement, we are given uh, an array which consists of n integers. Now uh, what we have to find out is the number of tuples such that ai plus aj plus ak is an even number. But this we don't have to do for the entire array. Instead, we'll be given queries. Now, what will be the queries be like? For each query, we will be given L and R. It means we will be given the starting and the ending index. Like say, suppose the array is of, uh, you know, array consists of 10 integers. But instead, we have to find out for only uh, from the second position up to the eighth position. So between the second and the eighth position, including both of these also, uh, we have to find out uh, such kind of tuples, a i, a j, a k. And if we add them up, then it should be an even number. Now we will divide the uh, question into two parts. First, we will find out that how we can find these tuples if the query thing was not given and we just had to calculate these kind of tuples for the entire array. In that case, how can we uh, find that out? So here you see an example. I have taken eight integers here and uh, this is an array. Now, the property that we will use is that when we are adding even and odd numbers together, what it results in. So here we have to pick up three numbers as you can see AI, AJ and AK. The tuple will consist of three numbers. Now, if we add three even numbers, it always forms an even number. And if we add two odd numbers and one even number, then it will form an even number. Now, if you try out any other combination apart from these two, then it will give an odd number. It will not give an even number. You can even try it out. There are two other combinations as well. So they will never uh, give us an even number. Only these two combinations exist, which will give us an even number. Now, based on this fact, what we can do, we can simply use the property of combination to find out that how many tuples will be formed. Because uh, what we need here is that, uh, like, suppose we pick up uh, 4, 5, and 8. Suppose we have picked up this tuple. Now, we cannot use this again. Like, we cannot use it in this manner, like 5, 4, 8. This will be wrong because uh, these three numbers we have already used once together. So that means that this is the property of combination that we are using and not permutation. Now, according to combination, what is there? That if we know the number of even numbers that are there and if we know the number of odd numbers that are present in the array, then we will simply be able to find out using combination that how many tuples will be formed. Suppose the number of even numbers that are there let it be even and the number of odd numbers that are present in the array let it be odd now here you can see that we need three even numbers right uh, to form an even uh, a number out of this tuple so we need three even numbers it means that uh, we will be able we will be required to do even c3 now if we do this this will tell us that how many tuples will be formed uh, from this category now for the second category, what is there? We have two odd numbers. So odd C2. This is going to form uh, for this uh, odd plus odd. This will tell us how many tuples of such kind will be there. But you see here that there is one even number. So along with each of the two odd numbers that are there, we need one even number always. So whatever number of even numbers are there, they can be clubbed with each of these uh, pairs of odd numbers. So we'll multiply it by even. So this will tell us that how many tuples will be formed from this second category. Now, if we add these both, then we will be able to find out how many number of tuples we will obtain uh, 
for the entire array such that ai aj plus uh, ak is an even number this will tell us that now the problem is that we don't have to find this for the entire array see if we had to find this for the entire array then it would be very simple right we can just uh, pick up each and every element like we will pick up each and every element and we will uh, keep two variables if the number is even we can increment even by one if the number is odd we can increment odd by one so we will be we will have the count of even numbers and the odd numbers and then we can perform this operation but it is not that simple here what we have that uh, we will be given queries and in each query so the queries can be any number of queries uh, and uh, for each query we will have l and r and l and r uh, denotes the position uh, in this array so suppose like l is equals to uh, 2 and r is equals to 6 it means from uh, position 2 to position 6 in between this we have to find out these kind of tuples now the same logic you will say that the same logic that we were discussing for the entire array to count the even numbers and the odd numbers can be applied even if we have queries yes that is the correct approach uh, that is some kind uh, that is a kind of a brute force approach that for each query we just iterate through each of the numbers and then find out that how many even and how many odd numbers are there but the problem will be that uh, the your solution will not get accepted if you use this approach because it will give us a uh, time limit exceeded it will take a lot of time to query each and every uh, integer again and again for each query even though we can just uh, use one simple technique to find out for the entire array that at which position how many even numbers and how many odd numbers will be there now to use that uh, method let us see what we can do now here what we are doing is that we have taken an array of n plus 1 uh, indexes here n is equals to 8 so we have 9 indexes because we want to cover uh, 1 to 8 right now the first index will always uh, the first element of the array will always remain 0 now what is our uh, agenda here that we want to calculate that at each position how many even numbers will be present you can also do it for odd numbers but uh, i'm doing it for even numbers so you can do it for either even or for odd numbers this method that i'm using here so we want to calculate that at each position how many even numbers will be there like for example if it is position 3 then this position 3 element will tell us that up to position 3 how many even numbers have already been encountered so what we will do that here we will check 4 is an even number right so we will write 1 here it means we will take the previous number that is 0 and we will add 1 to it this is the method that we will follow now we have 5 here which is an odd number so when we have an odd number in that case what we'll do we'll just copy the previous element to this uh, uh, position so the previous element is one that means the uh, count of even number have not increased it remains one up till position two again at the third position we have even number that is eight so what we'll do we'll pick up the previous number that is one this this previous number that is element that is one here and then add one to it so that means the number of even numbers up to position three is two similarly for the next uh, one it is again an even number so we will increment again even number increment now it is an odd number so what you'll do instead of incrementing you'll just copy the previous value the previous value is four so you'll copy four here now again it is an odd number so you'll copy now it's an even number so you will increment the previous value by one which will become five so now you see that uh, like whenever you'll be given a query so like you will be given a query l equals to uh, say three and r equals to say seven so now you have to find out those uh like how many number of tuples will be there uh, between 
3 to 7, including 3 and 7th position also. So, from this position to this position, you have to find out amongst this. Now, it is very easy for you to calculate that how many even numbers will be there and how many odd numbers will be there in between these positions. And how you can do that? So, the number of even numbers that are there uh, between these positions will be. Uh, suppose that uh, you know we can name this array as a so it will be a of it will be a of 7 now a of 7 tells us that up to position 7 how many even numbers are there the total number of even numbers up to position 7 so now you will have to Subtract something from this. Why subtract? Because uh, your starting position is 3. It is not 1. So that's why you will subtract A of 2 here. Because uh, the even numbers that are there up to position 2. You don't need that. You need the even numbers that are beginning from position 3. That is why you are subtracting the number of even numbers that are there. Uh, up to position 2. So, this will give us, give you the number of even, the count of even numbers that are there between uh, position 3 and 7. Now, if you want to calculate the odd numbers, so odd numbers are very easy to calculate, right, uh, between position uh, 7 and between position 3 and 7, uh, the total number of numbers will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, right? And how do we calculate that? That we can calculate by doing 7 minus 3 plus 1. It means uh, R minus L plus 1. R minus L plus 1. This will be how we will calculate the total number of numbers that are there. And in this total numbers between 3 and 7, you can just... Uh, subtract the even numbers so you will get the number of uh, even numbers and the number of odd numbers that are there between position 3 and 7. Now that you have obtained this the answer calculation is very simple I have already told you that what will be the answer the answer will be even c3 plus odd c2 into even. Now for each query you can uh, use this particular array and uh, calculate the even and odd numbers using these uh, expressions and then calculate the answer using this expression. So, all the work that will go into this problem will be in forming this particular array or in forming this particular data structure which, uh, which will tell us that at each position how many even numbers will be there. Or alternately, you can also calculate how many odd numbers will be there and then you can just uh, use these expressions to calculate the even and odd numbers, the count of even and odd numbers. And uh, this will always be true. Like uh, you can use this for every query. And here uh, this particular uh, expression will not fail in any of the cases because by because we have uh, initially taken this dummy value at the 0th index. This is not denoting any integer in our array. This is just a dummy value because if we need to uh, calculate uh, like if you need to check what is the previous value uh, because here we are just uh, depending on the previous value right so then uh, this dummy value will help us to uh, not create unnecessary if conditions and all so that's why i have taken this uh, at zero index i've taken it zero now guys this was the explanation to the problem the code will be very simple so please try the code on your own because if you'll just uh, copy the code or you'll just uh, see the code and then try to do it then it will not be worth it if you have understood the solution actually you will be able to code it on your own now guys uh, let us see the input output and constraints so first line of input will be the number of test cases followed by uh, the n and q n denotes the number of integers in the array and q that how many queries we'll have and the next line will contain uh, a1 to a n so we'll get the integers and then q lines will follow where we'll have l and r for every query the output for each query will be the number of tuples possible as was given in the problem the constraints are uh, you know large in the sense that uh, here what we are doing that we are uh, adding this even c3 plus uh, this entire expression and then we are calculating this also so in terms of that thing this uh, these constraints will be large and 
you should use uh, you know a bigger data structure instead of just using integer uh, so if you are using python then it's fine but if you are using any other language which needs us to define data structures you should use a data structure which has a larger range so that we will discuss in the code so now let us go to the code now guys the code will be in c++ so the first few lines of the code will be uh, the inputs we have already discussed how we have to take the inputs now one more thing that i like to mention first hand is that here i have taken int to be long long so what i've done hash define int long long it means wherever we are using int in this entire program it means that we are using long long uh, data type and not integer data type so why we are using long long because if you are going to use int then this uh, this problem will not pass and it will always give you a wrong answer because of the uh, because of the constraints that are there so please use long long or uh, long long int which has a larger range uh, data type now uh, we are defining a of n plus 1 so this i already uh, told you that we have to define an array which consists of n plus 1 integers then we will uh, store zero in the first element of the array so at zero index it will always be zero because that is a dummy value that uh, that we want then we are uh, running a loop from 1 to n so we will input uh, each and every element of the array and then we will check whether it is even or it is odd so here what we are forming that uh, we wanted to form an array which will tell us that at every position how many even numbers are there from 0 up to that position so that's what we are forming here in this part of the program and how to form this has already been discussed in the problems explanation after that we will uh, just go to the queries directly once we have formed this array our entire work is done now we will just go to the queries and uh, input l and r one by one for each query and then uh, we will calculate the count of even and odd numbers uh, based on this array that uh, we have formed and then we will just uh, use that even c3 and uh, odd c2 into even uh, so i have just uh, you know if you will try to solve that uh, even c3 and odd c2 then this is the kind of uh, expression that you will get please try to solve it and uh, see that uh, this is what you are getting and uh, that's why it's easy to use here right because if you will try to use a combination directly it will become a bit uh, tough so i have expanded it and used it in the form of a simple mathematical expression now uh, you will just have to print the answer so the answer will be even combination plus odd combination so there were uh, two categories which were giving us uh, even on adding the three numbers so for both of these categories when you will add it then you will get the final uh, number of tuples that are possible so guys this was the problem now if we talk about the time complexity so here we are uh, running the loop n times and this loop is running q times so the time complexity will be n plus q so this was the problem guys and if you have any other method of solving the problem then please feel free to post it in the comment section or and also in case of any doubts please post them in the comment section if you have understood the solution then please do like the video